What's up with the What's Up, beloved? Welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami, and today I want to talk about police escalation in residential or crowded situations that results in like innocent bystanders being killed, maimed, injured in some way. And um, by extension, the kind of mind game they play afterwards, wherein no matter how big or tiny the infraction they were pursuing is, they blame the criminal for the fact that they made the situation so dangerous that someone else died who wasn't even a part of any of this. And I think, you know, there's a huge portion of the population that's just been thoroughly brainwashed and whipped to believe that's acceptable for us to hold teenagers or um, impoverished people who have been through no training to a much higher standard than the police who are supposed to be uh, able to handle this weaponry or supposed to be able to handle these situations. They're the best result response. We can't defund them because who, else, who are we going to call if we can't call them? You know, people have put them on this huge pedestal, but yet and still I'm supposed to hold random people out on the street to a higher standard than these police. Um, you know, when I'm talking about escalating, I'm talking about things such as um, high-speed chases in the suburbs or in cities. I'm talking about things like getting into a shootout with at the intersection or at a public park or at a, some kind of crowded uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? These people who are supposed to be trained are getting into shootouts. Like one of the big ones that I can never get off my mind is if you'll recall, I'm pretty sure somebody took like a FedEx truck hostage once and the, the people had, the FedEx driver was in the back. The people who had taken the FedEx car hostage were like in the front. They were driving. Somehow everybody gets caught up at an inter intersection, busy intersection. Other humans are all around parked at this intersection and somehow the police decide it's time to just shoot up the FedEx car and they did shoot the hostage. The person who was just trying to drive the truck was shot as he tried to escape because they were just shooting, just shooting. And that was like, people were like, well, you know, if they hadn't taken it, if they hadn't shot it, they weren't planning on killing this guy or at least not at this time in the middle of an intersection, there's a good chance he could have lived had they shown any discretion. I've also noticed that this has happened on like, um, in the suburbs, there's times where they get into high speed chases with people, people crash, crashing into buildings, kids have died, adults have died, people have gotten seriously injured, multiple times this has happened, and yet they still engage, even when it's illegal, even when they're not allowed to get into these high-speed chases, nor is it something that you're like, this needs to be solved now, it's now or never. There's not very many situations that are now or never, and it certainly isn't as often as it seems to occur on their little rounds, you know what I'm saying? They, they act like every situation is some kind of diehard situation, when in reality, there's no situation like that is typically occurring. They don't deal with that many situations like that, but yet they escalate it as though they're about to save, you know, this is fucking national treasure. They're about to save the Constitution by getting into this shootout or getting into this high-speed chase. And um, recently, I, I, the reason I bring this up after seeing all those was because I keep seeing these articles pop up about, like, three cops who... There, there were some teens who had guns, I guess. And so they decided to, the cops decided to shoot in, in a busy place, in a busy like park or something. And they decided to just shoot and shoot and shoot and ended up killing a child, ended up killing like an eight year old little girl. And people like I noticed in the comment section of a video, one of the videos that popped up, not just the article, but a video had also popped up. And that's why I clicked on it to see. But people were trying to be like, oh, well, you know, like if these criminals, but it's like, I'm not going to hold these random criminals to a high, a teenage criminals, by the way, also teenagers, children. I'm not going to hold children to a higher standard than police who could look around with their 
own blinking eyes see mothers and children around at this park, see parents, see random, I don't care if you have no kids, I don't care if you aren't married, if you are just a single person walking around going to work or something, you do not need to deal with that. You should not have to deal with that. And if these children are not doing anything like that, like the if these children are doing something like that, these adults who are trained, not just random adults, not just like me walking around, these people are supposedly trained adults should be held to a higher standard. They should not be applauded. And absolutely, they need to start being held accountable for the deaths that occur when they escalate a situation, when they take a situation to a level it does not need to be at. And the fact that all three of them got charged leads me to believe, even though I haven't seen anything, I'm guessing they all were shooting is what that tells me. And so, I I mean, I only watched the video. I've gone through an article. I haven't seen anything that said directly that yet because it's all just talking about the fact that the charges against the teens were dropped on that regard and that the cops were being held accountable for the child's death. But it just kind of, it, it kind of almost reminds me of like, you know, like the Breonna Taylor where like they were all just shooting willy-nilly at the house and they got somebody and they only got charged for the bullets that didn't hit the house because they did have bullets that didn't hit the house because of course they did and so it's just like this idea that we keep giving these cops this like deference to do whatever the fuck they want to do and passes whenever they fuck up so royally is just beyond me it's like what do you guys think the cop's job is do you think it's the cop's job to be hitting your head on the car on the way in do you think it's the cop's job to be treating you crazy at the county jail do you think it's the cop's job to be harassing you and trying to find things to hurt you with uh and tack on to the ticket that they've given you do you guys think that's their job or is it their job to be giving you a ticket if they see an infraction and taking you in so that you can get your day in court if that if it so is at that level like it's not their job to be executing people it's not their job to be doling out punishments they are not the judge jury and executioner that should not be what we think that their job is but for some reason we have a lot of people out there who just don't seem to understand what role the cops are supposed to be fulfilling so every time the cops line step as the habitual line steppers that they are people are are just well you know I, I mean he did step that line but he's the police we need to stop just letting that go and I'm really glad that these people were being held accountable for this child's death and that we're not just passing it on to a bunch of teenagers who a, a situation was escalating around them and these people with their brains not even fully developed made a mistake with how they decided to handle this I'm glad we're not just pawning this death off onto them I'm glad that the police are the ones who are going to have to be held accountable because it's just absolutely frankly unacceptable that they think it's okay to be acting like they're in a freaking movie they're to be acting like they're in some kind of you know threat level midnight situation when in a matter of fact you have nothing this is not what you should be doing you should not be putting everybody else in danger because one person might get away with something or because one person is making you mad or because one person is uh, out here and you think that uh what what it's okay to kill what 10 people to get one person is that what they think is that how they're really are we gonna really accept that so it's really you know sad to me to see how beat people are when it comes to the fucking cops because people are out here just accepting any old type of treatment any old type of behavior and that's not making anybody safer it's not making anything safer and nor is it helping a community come together which we all have clearly learned i think over the last two three years of covid or whatever that it, we don't have community like that we don't we just don't and a, a, anything like this is not going to make that better it's not going to solve that problem I'm frankly tired of that and I wish people understood, you know, what the police's job was and what they want to see from the police instead of being so scared to just criticize the police, so scared to defund the police, so scared to uh, ask for some kind of punishment to the police. Well, well, nobody will want to be a police anymore. Good. We shouldn't want anybody in their fucking dad who didn't, you know, who, who just wants to hold a gun and get one over on people to just be the fucking cops. We shouldn't want that anyways. The same way people don't want to all be doctors because it's going to 
take a good long while in school and it's going to do all these other things. You know, you're going to have to see things you don't want to see. We have to be able to like paint the police in some kind of light in that similar way where we're not just letting anybody just get in and escalate situations and put the rest of us in danger. It's just unacceptable. At any rate, thank you so much for watching. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads and I will see you next time.